Hey, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. And the topic I want to cover today is a continuation uh, from another video I did that looked at uh, low T and whether low T was a uh, legit condition. And I'll link to that video if you didn't check it out. Uh, what I want to talk about now is, okay, you have low T or you've been diagnosed with low testosterone, and what next? And one of the comments I want to make is that it's not a very simple um, process are as simple as people make it out to be and the pharmaceutical industry and these commercials make it out to be. You don't get diagnosed and then get handed a prescription and then off you go and everything is great. Uh, like anything in human biology, there are pluses and minuses that not everyone's made aware of uh, by their doctor. I mean, once you go on external source of testosterone, uh, this of course can affect your fertility, your sperm count can drop down sharply, uh, your gonads will obviously uh, start to shrink a bit because they are no longer producing their own testosterone uh, and there are a number of possible side effects. Uh, now like any drug, like any treatment, there is always going to be risk to benefit. Uh, what are the benefits? What are the side effects? And of course you have to make that decision. Now if you have low testosterone, uh, in my view certainly the benefit certainly outweighs the risks and the side effects to be sure and I would always recommend uh, if somebody has low testosterone and is unable to correct it through nutrition and other things uh, to go on testosterone. So I'm not trying to talk you out of it. What I am trying to say is that people need to be a little more aware of the fact that there is no free lunch in human biology. None. And with testosterone replacement does come uh, negatives, does come possible side effects, does come uh, a couple of issues that need to be addressed. And I don't know uh, honestly if uh, a lot of medical professionals are doing a great job of explaining that to people that okay we're, you know you have low testosterone we're going to put you on testosterone but here's some things you need to be aware of and I've gotten on many many emails from from men who were unaware of this uh, only found out later on that for example they were trying to have uh, kids and their sperm count was non-existent due to the testosterone therapy uh, are there ways to correct that yes there are uh, but again I, will, I hate, hate to say that uh, most medical professionals even those medical professionals who are prescribing testosterone don't know uh, how to avoid those problems and it has to do with using additional medications uh, correctly and correct doses and that's another topic for a, another video but you should be aware uh, if you are looking into testosterone replacement that uh, there are some potential drawbacks there are some potential negatives most of them can be offset if you uh, again are have good medical assistance but if you're not aware of them, uh, medical uh, replacement of testosterone is not, again, just a, a free lunch, a panacea, and all your problems are solved. Like everything, you, you do have to uh, do a little research. You do have to understand this topic a little bit. And don't assume, uh, medical degree or otherwise, that the person helping you really knows that much more other than, okay, look at the blood test, write them a script for um, gel, cream, injection, whatever, and move on. Not that simple. So. I hope that information helped, uh, and uh, if it did, please you know, hit the like button. I recommend you uh, subscribe to this channel if you want the uh, straight scoop insider uh, information that I supply, and I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.